hello follower um i'm going to show you video again where uh, dr yukela visit one of the installation uh the solar installation i think this is the right way to go if you want to sustain better electricity and cerulean so dr yukela visit one of the installation uh, site so i will show you the video guys um um it's really nice to watch that uh we have started diverting from the um power generator to solar system i think that is the right way forward to go ahead um install some of this uh, power system it will really help the system so thank you guys uh always follow us uh, we will try our best to bring uh, information direct from the authority in Sierra Leone. So watch the video and see the transformation exactly. Thank you. So this, you can imagine, the, uh, you know, how much this can benefit uh, the country when we complete those transmission line distribution centers, hubs, and also the training, the knowledge system. Um, let me welcome you officially to our six megawatt multi solar plant, which has been first of its kind in Sierra Leone. The president that we are representing had a vision that is to expand on renewables. It's an open secret that, you know, we're having perennial kind of challenges, particularly during the drives because of the cost of buying one kilowatt hour of energy. But with these renewables that the government is trying to push and then foster, I think it is going to help us in addressing, you know, the bottlenecks of buying electricity at a very high cost. This was our vision that we established the first utility scale solar project in our country but also in our uh, uh, sub-region use it as a hub and training center also to see that the potential for renewable energy supply and for energy access so the good news is this is now up and running this is going to be expandable uh, as you heard from the minister there's going to be 30 megawatts in near the same location by the world bank there's going to be another 15 megawatts by a private sector operator but more importantly they've already taken the decision mcc all of those will have this as a hub in fact across the country right now there are about 150 megawatts to 200 megawatts of potential solar projects we're driving very hard really hard to see if they can come in line over the next 10 years to fulfill the vision of the president and the long-term plan we've helped to put together in less than one year. So we see the government moving in the right direction and we are here to express our our wish to support this effort and uh, I wish also to say that I'm quite confident that we could be successful. Naturally what is, is important as we have been discussing is improving the capacity of the transmission lines and the grids. I have no doubt that we can have an increasing capacity here in the, in the in the country and also the capacity of export clean energy to the surrounding or at least to be interconnected is by by fact there is no need to ensure